Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to The Last Federation. Now, I'd like to take a moment here and say that you may have heard me complaining a bit if you watched my Stellaris series. Probably more than a bit. I was talking a lot about the mechanics and how they just didn't seem to fit the game. And a lot of it just irritated me. You haven't seen that here. Part of that is because I do enjoy Arkan stuff, and I am a little biased. But another part is, well, the mechanics are a lot more integrated. Your goal is to do things. The game is not trying to overreach, it's not trying to jump all over the place and do a bazillion different things. It is tightly focused and it executes that focus well. Stellaris does to some degree too, but not as well. Also, there is the price factor to consider. This game and both its expansions are currently on our consto website store as well as Steam and GOG. $25. Stellaris is over twice that. And if you pre-ordered with some of the special stuff, that went way up. You could easily spend, I think, somewhere around $100, so four times as much on Stellaris as this. So, it doesn't have as high of a bar to live up to, but I would actually say that in its scope, and what it set out to do, it did a much better job than Stellaris did. And with that said, let's get back to the game. Where we are trying desperately to fix all the amount of problems the Skylaxians have. Is this local law enforcement... Can we? It's 0.5 public order every month. Because we really need to fix that. The good news is that two of the three evil races are essentially restricted at the moment. They can't... They're blockaded and they can't break out. Oh, Thoraxians might. Uh... They might any time. Who are they at war with? Evox, Andor, and Skylaxian. No, not Skylaxian. They're actually on good terms with the Skylaxians. So that's... really good. Okay. Now. The public order on Melchior is doing well for them. At three universities and four teaching hospitals, and hopefully, between all that, they'll get their medical up high enough that'll kill off the 2x death rate and improve the birth rate as well. Because as both of those start to kick in, the population will stabilize before it hits zero. But if I don't do something right now, the Skylaxians are, in fact, dead. So they're going to need a much higher medical as well. How many... If three teaching hospitals... I could put in another one. Alright. Air construction workers. This is... an emergency situation. So, I'm going to put in a teaching hospital. And now we get to sit around for one month. 
I, I'm not expecting these guys to win. I, I really am not. But at the same time, they're doing a good job slowing down the evil races and letting the good guys get going. Alright, now medical is going to go up. So birth rate is going to go up. Public order. Hopefully we can help with that. It's just local law enforcement. Okay, who likes who dislikes the Skylaxians? The Acutians are okay with them. The Indoor dislike them. I don't know why. Um. Indoor original inherent dislike. Commerce partner will be in admiration. They don't like us, and they're warmongers. Okay. So, Andor and Skylaxian. Oh! Burlust are doing a spread hate thing. So, basically everybody who... Okay, can I come over here and get you... No. Wow. Distribute environmental boosters. 15, 20, okay, way too long. But that would have been really nice to do earlier. Still, I think... There's nothing that they can do directly. Okay, you two can go away. Okay, we're helping. Wow. Is that on a daily basis? Whoa. So maybe I can fix the Evox. Just, wow, I can fix their environment, probably. 1.4x death rate is dropping. And attack warning. They are in orbit, but they have not dropped any ships yet. All right. Friendly X. Help defend against invader armadas. We get money for blowing up enemy ships. All right, they've got five flagships. And that is a... Um... Okay... Ow! Don't want to watch that get blown up, so what can we do about it?
You know what? And what we can do about it is start by launching all our squadrons. There we go. Hi there. I'm gonna focus for you down. And now that you're down, I think some of those gravity lances might have a few things to say to you, but. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's a lot of damage inflicted right there. They have a Grav Lance. Okay, I'm gonna send you over. And switch you to auto fire again. You're coming over here, and you are locking onto you. One down. Energy blasters are now in free fire mode. They are taking shield damage, but that's okay. Well, it's okay if I have some sort of control over it. Currently, I don't. But... What I do have is some ability... Ow. Alright. Let's, uh, deal with this. And this guy... Let's move here. And... I'll fire minigun at just everything. Get up movement speed a bit and go back to auto firing. I don't know why I saved the Thoraxian pilots, but it's probably not ever going to pay off. Still, we have a Grav Lance. And now we've got one more enemy ship to destroy. Alrighty. Lots of shield damage that's down. And now they're dead. Did we actually take any hull damage? No! And we managed to protect the Skylaxian homeworld. Awesome. Okay, people are now not dying nearly as much. We're back down to the normal monthly death rate. Help raid pirate convoy for loot. Um, it was a really good military they can afford to lose some of. Uh, 
Um. Accusions. Oh, that's interesting. The music changed. Went to another planet. Change in music. Okay. These guys are going to try and run away. So what I'm going to do... Just keep them from running away. That is a Skylaxian... Pirate thingy-majigger. Lock onto you and lock onto you. Anything that gets in the way is going to get hit. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Messages up in the top left. Boarded freighter install Nitec Meyer Teak and one other thing. And now they're almost dead. Which means I got exactly what I wanted. Thirteen ships destroyed. Ouch. And we got unscannable handheld phaser. Pirate convoy signal. Alright. Does that mean I just found another one? Um. Anyway, what I'm going to do now... Come back to the Evox. And we're gonna see what we can do here. Improve the local environment. Or do we provide medical assistance? Because that medical multiplier is just absurd but with how hard the environmental's hitting them they have no planetary compatibility compatibility with this planet yeah nobody can live on this thing so what do we do I am going to help the, um, medical part for a little bit, at least until that 2x death rate modifier goes away. Ow. I think... Okay, there's a Skylaxian Armada there. I don't know how I'm going to have to get this for that to happen. Okay. The Burlas are finally, after years of being blockaded, destroying these pirate armadas. I think I need to get this under 100. under Above negative 100, I mean. Before this modifier will go away. Oh, before it'll get below double the death rate. I don't know that for sure, mind you, but that's just my guess. 
And the Burlos are finally starting to clean up the... Alright. Um... Okay. Look at that. Improved birth rate and reduced death rate. Which means we have reduced their problems slightly. They're losing 20% fewer people a month. Is it still terrible? Yeah. Is that something that we can be proud of? Yes. So we're going to cancel this dispatch. And go back to try helping the Skylaxians. It's just local law enforcement. Uh. Alright. Just look at that. They're still winning. No, they're no, they're losing. Never mind. And here, here they're winning. And yeah, we're fighting back with this public order, with medical going up, with. Economy going up, with environmental going up, with public order going up. We might be able to get the Skylaxians to a net positive population. And if we can do that, then things will be a lot... I thought somebody just attacked. Apparently not. Wow. Come on. If we can get that above zero. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, death rate's down. That's good. Now they're going to get better skirmisher ship production. Skirmisher ships are the smaller ships that escort the fleet, which means the f their overall strength per fleet. You know, so they've got six fleets and 700 combat power, while the Peltines have five fleets and 1,500. It's because they don't have many skirmishers, and that's because their public order is so low. So as we help with their public order going up, we're getting massive, massive boost, and maybe, maybe we'll be able to reverse the population trend. Dang, this is terrible. I knew something about Burlus Public Order. They're still dying every month. Please stop that. Ah! The event tripped again. Why are they dying? because they're completely incompatible with this planet? Okay. I don't know what's stopping them now. Um, but I'm gonna cancel this dispatch. <clears throat> All right. Burlus hate me, Andor eh, kind of don't like me. 
evokes don't like me because they don't like the end the skull scenes that much however I want to check the Peltians the Peltians like the Skylaxians that's going up Skylaxians like the Peltians that's good they like the Andor and the Andor feel about the Peltians 44 We need to get the Andor to like the Peltians more. Property development. What makes the Peltians happy? That actually make the Skylaxians happier as well. It does irritate the Thoraxians. Oh well. And the Borings. Uh, might need to do some of the other borings then. Um. Oh. This thing is really, really good. So, a hydroponics plant would help with the borings, but piss off the burlesque. And... Family stories would, uh... So, the end would be irritating the Thoraxian... You know... Let's just go buy five guys. Do you have 100 or more units of prisoners from one race? Not judging, just asking. If so, one way to reduce the absurd cost of feeding that many people is to drop 100 of them on some, on else, some other race's plants as expatriates, where by adding water, they'll fill out to 1 million population. Only works on plants where the mutual relations between the owner and the race being dropped off are zero or better. Huh. So, murdering Skylaxian pirates would let me put some Skylaxians over on the um, Peltine homeworld. That's interesting. However, I'm going to go by six construction workers and now we're going to go develop the uh, family stories and I am a little worried about this because yes we are at the end of our home world and you don't know what the burlists are going to do ever Skylaxian Tower might be starting to get into a good or decent position. Environmental is going up at least. All right. Now the Evox. We need to go help them medically. Just to get rid of that huge malice they have. However, that's going to have to wait for the next episode because we've gone way too long on this one. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Jimbo the Fuzzy. Hope to see you again next time.